वेलकम बैक गाइस आई एम मोनी फ्रॉम स्मार्ट ट्यूटोरियल्स डॉट नेट प्लीज चेक द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द डेमो एंड डाउनलोड लिंक फॉर दिस ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सिंपल कांटेक्ट फॉर्म एंड सेंड मेल यूजिंग पीएचपी मेल फंक्शंस सो लेट्स गो एंड क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट आई एम क्रिएटिंग न्यू प्रोजेक्ट कॉल्ड मेलर इनसाइड दैट आई एम क्रिएटिंग सीएसएस फोल्डर so i'm going to into the mailer uh, for project and opening into visual studio code so now i i will create three file index.html where we will design our form and uh, mail.php it will handle posted data and send mail so also in css folder i will create style.css i am using uh, boost of css for styling okay so i will add two div one is outer div one is form container inside that i will have uh, add some text so now i am opening it in in browser local host block mailer if you see it takes almost 1200 pixels so i am using uh, ubuntu font so custom font i am setting that font family as ubuntu now see font family is Right. Now I am. Um, I want only whatever the screen size may be. I want only 600 pixels wide. The form needs to be in smaller screen. Based on the screen size, it will automatically adjust itself. Okay. So for that, I am selecting form container class and setting max width as 600 pixel. Okay, so if you see, it takes 600 pixel one pixel, but it takes 600 pixel only. But it right, um, it it is left aligned. So I want to make that needs to be central central aligned. So for that, I am setting margin property margin because it starts from. the top so i am setting margin top of uh, 50 pixel i am setting margin left and right as auto so that it equally takes um, remaining with uh, right side and left side so that it will be uh, central end okay so i am setting zero pixel for the bottom so now if you check it's now it is perfectly central line because if you see margin 255 uh, left and margin 255 right it automatically get taken by by if you set margin as is auto okay now i'm removing this i'm um, now i'm creating the form okay form i'm setting um, action to the mail.php because i'm posting data to the mail.php Also, I'm setting method as a post. Now I'm adding input field. Um, Okay, I am just formatting it to everything needs to be aligned perfectly. Okay, so now I am adding uh, ID and name property for the inf input field. I am giving this a username because it's a name field. So setting now reload. So you see, yeah. So when you click on uh, label. if you want to uh, text field needs to be highlighted you need to give whatever the id property 
a value to the for now reload and check yeah now it's getting alert right so so and now i am adding remaining fields okay so finally i am adding button btn btn success submit type is submit we have successfully designed our form so now we need to post this data whatever the uh, the data user enters into the mail.php in in the mail.php i just uh, printed whatever the poster data okay so i just printed the poster data so uh, for sending mail i'm using uh, this uh, template.html so this is what uh, the template load looks like so for that um, so actually when you post the uh, data to the mail.php it will be in array as is array okay so i if it is in if it is an individual uh, variable it is easy for me to form an, a template to send an mail okay for that um, what i will do um, i'm just uh, getting um, uh, from assist array into uh, only i'm getting the whatever the values using array values functions using list function so I, I will assign whatever the values to the individual variables okay so if you see if i reload so if you see from the assist array into I, I convert into array only the values so using list function i am assigning this values to the individual variable name email subject and message okay now uh, what i will do so i will copy this mail template okay i will Pre we prepared uh, the template whatever the so whatever now uh, whatever the poster data will be in the individual variable i'm just concatenating it okay into the uh, wherever the place I want okay finally what I will do I write a mail function in the mail function uh, first one parameter is to whom I am sending mail maybe your mail and the subject whatever the subject user has posted whatever the message okay I'm posting the HTML so if it is success I will print mail center sex uh, main sent successfully if it is failed i am printing it mail sent failed now i uploaded this mail script to the uh, my live server to check this mailing functionality uh, if you want to send mail from your local host you need to have proper ma uh, uh, mail server set up in the in your local i will cover in the my last tutorial uh, how to send an email from your local host um now so i'm using my live server to send an mail okay so first uh, so i uploaded to the mail server i'm just entering the data okay i'm just submitting it yeah mail sent successfully if you check yeah so now if you see we we sent as an html mail so we can we need to say to the mail function it is an html email express especially when you are using mail function to send a mail okay so to say that is an html mail you need to provide headers in the header you need to say the content type is in html so you need to pause this as an fourth parameter okay save it now go and send submit it yeah, mail sent successfully. Now, if you check, yeah, successfully we achieved what we want. In next tutorial, um, I will cover uh, why you not to send an email using PHP mail functions. Also, I will provide a solution to that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates immediately. Uh, let's meet you guys in next tutorial.